creative people and welcome back to my channel. For today's tutorial, I will show you how I adjust my basic pattern to create patterns for my body. I really hope you enjoyed this tutorial and let's start with this video. The first step is to download the basic pattern. I will put the link in my description box below where you can find it. And it's very easy to work this, with this pattern because you can print it out as many times as you want and you can create so many different designs. It is a great tool for the new starters when it comes to fashion and pattern making. The second step is to measure your measurements. I'm doing the bust line, the waistline and the hips. When you're creating pattern, you always create pattern in four pieces, which means two fronts and two backs. What I'm doing here is I'm dividing my uh, measurements with four and I'm also placing these measurements in the specific chest area, waist area and hips area. Because I am creating a corset, I will be adding 10 centimeters extra when it comes to the hip line. that I have created my bodice that fits my body I'm also working on the design and I always create a circle because this is going to represent the breast for me I don't want to show a lot of breast but of course you can do however you want so the step here that I did is I actually measured two centimeters from the chest line upwards and you can add it four you can add it three this is optional but this is how I created the corset as well because I have just created the basic pattern that fits my body and now I'm going to work with the design if you want to create a corset that forms your breast then this is a great tip um, you can take away more than 0.5 centimeters but if you want to flatten your breast then you keep it straight lines rest of the steps are more for the design so I just added uh, cuts where I will put the plastic boning and I also took away minus two centimeter on the hip because I really wanted to shape my waist to look super small so that's why I took away two centimeters I also wanted to create my design much more as um, showing the hips but also covering the belly because I don't like courses that are super short. I like a corset that covers the belly part so that's why I added 3 centimeters on the middle front and I also uh, counted 6 centimeters from the hips. When it comes to the back piece, for the back piece, of course, you're going to measure um, the measurements that you took of your body and place them on the bust line, waistline, and hip line. And then you have your custom design. When it comes to the cuts for the plastic boning, it's a little bit up to you. It's more of a design um, thing. One other thing that is also very important is the sides of your front and back piece need to match each other. Same as thing as the back side, but the back you can consider, you know, however you want, but you know, sides are very important that they are the same.
Once your pattern is done, you're going to place it on the fabric, measure one centimeter for the sewing and cut out all of the pieces. Because this tutorial is more how you adjust your pattern, I didn't film all the steps how I connected all the pieces, but if you want me to do that, please comment. And this is the finishing product, this is how the corset looks like. I added a zipper on the back because it's easier for me to put it on, but um, if you would have lace on the back, I think it will fit your body much better. Um, but yeah, this is a tutorial how to adjust the basic pattern to create you know, fashion for your body because uh, the patterns are usually make and the clothes are usually made from standard sizes or the standard me measurement chart. So I really hope this helped you. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you liked it. And if you did, please don't forget to like, share and subscribe to my channel. And I really hope to see you in my next video. Stay tuned and see you till then. Hey, Dawn! Oh,